Yo, what is up, guys? We're gonna be doing a video creating on who is the best cards to grind for, who is the worst cards to grind for, basically, who you should or should not grind for. So, the first card that we're gonna talk about today is in game Nikolai Jokic point guard, alright? So, I say that this card is worth grinding for because. It is basically a seven foot point guard that is like free. And it's gonna be so easy to get it for. Plus look at these rewards you get. Switch dark meta pack, blue patch, the telephones, an incredible ascension card. Not a dark matter. So yeah, this card one hundred percent worth going for. Alright, second one, Elijah Bailey. Now this one's all luck. This one isn't guaranteed. But if you could get him, it is worth it. But if you can't, don't stress it enough. Because you could probably just get a better shooting guard on the auction house. And yeah, don't stress it if you don't get this, but it is nice if you do not. Or if you do get it. Alright, your next one is James Harden. I say James Harden's worth right for. I uh, I think this James Harden's good. I really do. He's pretty good. Um, I think you should get this card because it is a free. Like I said, you can have those two in the same lineup: Jokic and James Harden. That's overpowered. Alright, next is uh, sorry for your fireworks, Mega. Uh, next is this um. Chris Webber card, which you also get Galaxy Open, Bob, Bobby Boris, Dark Matter, Jalen Rose, and of course the end game Chris Webber. The Bobby Boris, he's alright, he's gonna be goaded. Then the Jalen Rose, 6 8 point guard, very nice point guard. Uh, and then Chris Webber, of course, end game card, broken card at the small fort. Alright, next, the draft card, which is Jerry West. Uh, I would not go first card. Yeah, I would not go first card. Just a small point guard where you can easily go for the Jerry West card or the uh, Nikola Jokic card. Next is the Pete Maravich. I would go first card. Pete Maravich is always broken. His jumpers are always so glitchy. He has a nice build. I don't think he's right there. Grey Hill. I think you should not go for this card. Like, hear me out, alright? He's not gonna be great, but he's not gonna, he's gonna be really good, actually. He's gonna be really good. But, you have to play, like, what, 60, 70 games? You could just go into TTO or TT and probably get a better card. Or you can go into Domination and get a better card. Yeah, I would go, not go for Glenn. Now, uh, limited. I'll go for limited. It's an optional pack. There's nothing to lose in limited. Um, then the next one, which is Jerry what or uh, Julius Irving, which I actually already have. Definitely worth it. I was saying. Oh my god, I would go for this card. I would go for this. So. He's really good. He has a really nice six. And uh, yeah, for 1,000 tokens, definitely one. And then we got the Daryl Dunk. It's really good for a power forward position, by the way. Really good rebounder. Pretty lanky in the game. He's great. And then the exchange card, uh, Jerry Jackson. Pretty good. I would go for the suit. Um, yeah, I don't really know much about him, but he's pretty good. And the last one, which a lot of people did forget about, is the My Team Anniversary set. This is worth going for. If it's as cheap as it's going to be, both of these are in-game uh, optional pack lock-ins. Which for two in-game cards for free, this is a no-brainer if the cards are cheap. Yeah. Um, yeah, that is, uh, it for the video. 
the two cards I will not piss if we go for is Jerry West and Grail. So if all right, so have a great rest of the day. Remember to subscribe, turn on notifications so you can get videos like this. And yeah, have a great day and goodbye.